Hello, welcome back to Blender Switch Live. In this episode, I want to show you um, another example of usage of Blender and maybe with a AI stable diffusion. This time, we're gonna take a look at control stable diffusions with Kenny H maps. And in this case, you can see uh, there's Susan wireframe, and I simply give it a prompt. And when I run it, I get this result. Okay, so I can randomize the seed, maybe create like four different variations and just run it so what's gonna happen is um, it's gonna take a look at this line line art and it, it's gonna try to reinterpret it as something else so I always think that AI art is more like transitional kind of art so it's not like the final result but it can give you some kind of uh, prediction ideas or it's kind of like uh, imaginations by AI to give you example of how it might be okay so so currently I'm running this using Gradio live at Google Collab um, if I go backward I actually I saw this on reddit and I really like line art because if anything you see and you can uh, you can draw or sketch it uh, very quickly using your pen or pencil or your iPad or even inside Blender, right? You can interpret it as a line art and then you can pass it into AI and the AI can give you back a result. Like in this case, realistic looking dog. Um, yeah, you can have a read. Um, actually, this is the this is the, the one on GitHub. Um, let me take a look. Yeah, it says control net and you can take a look at some example this one is actually really cool um, so if you can redraw it as a line art it's gonna reinterpret as something else so you can actually start with a normal render and it's gonna try to make something that's pretty closely related to the original line art okay um, yeah it's now it's running on Gradio oh okay connection error out okay this is kind of weird when it whenever I run it more than once it just give an error so I'm just gonna rerun the last part this is an example on Google Collab I just re need to run the last part to start the control net and then yeah, hopefully this will run. Okay, let's see. There's, an, there's actually an example online that you can just use. But this one, with this one, you, you probably need to queue. So drop an image and Suzanne, we, we need to drop Suzanne. So let's see, Suzanne. So I, actually I have it here, right? Suzanne with a you can control the threshold as usual pick an angle maybe this Suzanne also needs to be smoothed and let's adjust this line art modifier a little bit and just do a render yeah Suzanne is actually very flat and basic but should be enough we just say this is a hyper realistic chimpanzee monkey robot intricate details and just run it this one is gonna gonna take longer than the one inside Google Collab so let's actually run this as well ourselves let's drop an image hyper realistic monkey head actually if I do like a proper render um, the result could be a little bit better but yeah, maybe colorful, intricate details. Let's run this as well. This one is running 
online radio live and the other one is running on on their demo machine and it's gonna take a while because there's a queue this one should take a bit faster so if you like line art you know like you don't you don't necessarily need to use uh, the line art you can just draw Suzanne yourself so let's uh, just do a quick one 512 by 512 okay uh, make it white color and let's just doodle I haven't used blender for a while I've been away but I can try so Suzanne Suzanne the monkey head so you yeah I, I, I do a lot of comic arts before in the past I lie actually no yeah actually line art is always I found really really interesting because with 3d render everything is precise right you need to do everything to I don't know you you end up making a lot of realistic 3d uh, because that's what computer is good at but with line art you have a lot of freedom so I, I really think <clears throat> line art is kind of like a even though it's you know like super basic but I just often wish that the line art and the 3d can kind of there's like a kind of like a blending between the two so that's that's why I really like like a AI art because it's it reminds me how powerful line art can be so yeah in this case I don't know it's give us quite interesting result nevertheless and I, I really want to just use my online art and just just recreate the same thing so that your prom actually matters as well as the original input image this one okay the one is running on hugging face it's gonna be a lot slower the one you're running on Google Collab will be faster and hopefully we get something that's a little bit more interesting so yeah indeed we get something it's a uh, it tries uh, to give a result anyway so maybe we should do like a painting masterpiece painting hyper realistic monkey head colorful fur intricate details run this of course line art is line art you know uh, you can add details you can add colors before you send it to AI and then for it to re reinterpret whatever your creation is gonna be but I think it's a uh, yeah we get something I kind of wish the we have both. We, uh, um, of course, some people actually yeah use the three D model as a reference and then just they redraw it in different angles. Yeah, that's actually the main basic idea of using three D. But you also do like a render. So in this case, I'm using Suzanne with a with a line art. So whatever. Yeah. Anyway, the the material you use and then the texture you paint it on the Suzanne can and will be used by the AI as well yeah maybe I should kind of blend the two and then get something that's more interesting than this one but you can see the AI is kind of trying to fix the eyes and then it's, it's trying to fit everything into this simple line art so if, if you use something like a photo P and let's render this file, save as, we can do better with the line art. But anyway, just a quick example, create a 512 
five, five, twelve. Create file append. Open and place. Susan. Oops, so it is Photoshop 101. Yeah, I don't know, something a little bit abstract, but it's okay. File, export as JPEG. Maybe not a good idea, but okay, I'm gonna give it a try anyway. So, photo P. Hopefully, our Gradio is still working. Run this again. Masterpiece painting of hyper realistic cyber robots, monkey head, colorful, fur, intricate details, concept art by Willow. Okay, it's error up again, unfortunately, which is kind of annoying, but we can stop this. Rerun it. Yeah, just gonna. I, I just want to show you the process. So often, time you get inspiration from Reddit like this, and you can. Uh, uh, the, the original poster will give you some information. So you get. You can give it a try. It's all experiment, like experimentations. Uh, like this turtle. Um, you can grab like a three D models. And then just use the line art inside Blender to get the outlines, and then try just pass it into uh, this collab. Yeah, this is running on Google Collab. It's always faster, but somehow the Gradio is keeps disconnecting itself. Um, too bad. Sketchfab. If you uh, go to Sketchfab. Maybe I can download my own scan. I can reinterpret any of this inside Blender using line art. I don't know, maybe, maybe even like this guy over here was created using Feather 3D. Uh, yeah, maybe I can get interesting result based on this. Okay. Let's run this Gradio one last time for this example. Upload it. Masterpiece hyper real realistic monkey head cyber robots intricate detail cyberpunk. Run this. How long is it gonna take? Let's see. Uh, yeah, let's see. Uh, the one on Sketchfab. Somehow this one is kind of floating. Yeah, this one is line art. I should actually kind of play around with this Feather 3D app a little bit more. I really like it. it has huge potentials. Uh, yeah, okay, we have result. Not very good, but it tries. Um, photo P. Let's try this. Okay. Canvas size 512 by 512. Okay. Open and place screenshot. Okay, we're gonna use this. Background is gonna be that. Okay. Save export as JPEG. Use our Gradio.
Masterpiece hyper realistic car with wings, cyber robots, intricate details, cyberpunk. So this that that's the prompt, and hopefully the AI understand the prompt and gonna come out with something. It's gonna try to reinterpret this image as a line art, and we're gonna get something in return. Uh, yeah, okay, this is definitely much better. I wanna have four variations gonna run this it's gonna take 46 seconds uh, sometimes we can see the process here 46 seconds 44 seconds 41 so control net have a bit of read it's gonna in it's gonna take a look at photos turn it into edge canny edge line art yeah and the dev and normal map, map is also being used and I don't know with human it, it's also using it understand the pose um, there's also segmentation there's a lot of, of things happening with this one hopefully we're gonna get result anytime now four seconds okay So if you have like a 3D model of a bag, you can just use this AI to give variations. You get, give different result, just give some ideas. It's very powerful, very powerful uh, stuff. I haven't looked at it. So yeah, four different variations. Maybe I should make it, I don't know, should be more interesting. You know, interesting prom. colorful machine uh, modern design create an, a single image run it So this might not be your final artwork. Okay, yeah, connection error out, error out again. Uh, I don't know why, every single time. Anyhow, you got the idea. So line art, if you have 3D model or you have like a real world reference, you can do like a quick line art in Blender or whatever app uh, you're using. And yeah, with the line art, you can then send it to AI and tell it to create something out of it based on the prompt and you know to get different variations you this one actually understand the human pose so this one I haven't really take a look at it but I think this is like the next step with with this AI stuff um, it should understand the, the the original input and then it gonna create something that's as close as uh, the original input image so I think it's really powerful it can do like a color colorations as well so yeah I don't know uh, where this gonna go but keep eyes on this one uh, I think it's uh, it's gonna be really useful in the future alright so thanks again for tuning in I'll see you next time thank you bye